What's going on guys? My name is Martin and you're watching WP Shout. And in today's video, we're going to talk about All right, let's get into it, shall we? So, I've whipped up a dummy WordPress site here. Uh, so I can walk you through the five different ways that you can hide a page in WordPress. Now, each of the ways is a little bit different in the sense that it covers a, a different use case um, for hiding your page, and you'll see that in just a moment. We'll start with the first one. Let's say you have, uh, we'll just go to this page here, About Me. So let's say you wanted to hide this page. Uh, you would go to Edit Page. And then you go to here where it says status published. So you'd click on published and then you would change it from published to private. And as you can see, it says only visible to site admins and editors. And then you would save it. And now you see the page is private and it even disappeared from the menu up here. So it's, you don't, have to worry about that aspect of it once you make it go private now let's say you want to make it go live again you would just go right back into status private hit published and hit save and it also brings it back to the menu you see it's back on the menu since we're on the topic of the menu what if you didn't want to hide the page from being published but you only wanted to hide it from the menu. So let me show you that method next. That's method number two. There's going to be more than one way to do this, depending on what type of theme you have. If you have a classic theme, you're going to go to appearance and then you're going to go to menus. So appearance menus. And this is where your menu is. So let's say you didn't want this about me page to be on your menu anymore. You would just open it up here with that down arrow and then hit remove and that'll remove it and then you can click save menu and that will update it on the front page of your site and across all your pages that's if you're using a classic theme if you're using a block theme it won't actually do that so i'm going to actually show you because i'm using neve fse which is a block theme and you see I updated it here, but if we go to the front page of our site, it's still here. And that's because the menu uh, in FSC is actually done through the full site editor, which you can access up here where it says edit site. Or if you're still in the dashboard, you can access it through appearance editor. So either way, it'll take you there. Just click up here so basically you just click into it and then you see how I've highlighted it so now it's highlighted and I can just hit these three dots where it says options and click delete and now it's gone and then I can click save save again and go to the front page of our site and now it's gone and that brings us to the third method which you may have already gotten a glimpse of it uh, if you were paying close attention to the first method. So let's go back into edit page. Now you remember we went to this status published section and we clicked that and we set it to private. That was method one. But another option is we can leave it published, but we can check off password protected. And then we can set a password like one, two, three, Never make your password one, two, three, but again, it's just for the example. Have it here, and then you can click save. And what that will do, if you go to view page, it will make the page protected, and it's asking you to put in a password. So we put in our password, one, two, three, enter, and now it opens up the content, and you're good to go. Now, 
This method, it works, but sometimes I found personally that it can be a little quirky. What I found happened to me a few times is I put in the password and then it changed the, pas the, the page to protected, but then it still showed the content. But then when I went in and changed the password to something else, it then locked the page. If you do run into an issue like that, just try the same thing. Just essentially just change the password by one character and then save it and then it should work. Okay, and that brings us to method number four. So method number four involves using a plugin. And what it does is it specifically hides your page from search engines. So it'll still have the page will be published. It won't be private. If someone goes on your site and you have it on a menu or, you know, anywhere where people can click around and get to it, it'll still be there, but it'll specifically tell search engines not to index it. So the way you do that is through uh, an SEO plugin. The most popular SEO plugin is Yoast. So I'm going to do that one for an example. So it makes you go through this whole first time configuration. We're going to skip that. We're going to go to pages, all pages. We're going to go to about me, which is the page we've been working with. Click on edit. And then we're going to scroll down and now you see we have Yoast here. And we scroll all the way down to where it says advanced. We open up advanced, click on it, and it says allow search engines to show this content in search results. Yes is the default, so you can change it to no. That's it. You just go back up and click on save. And now your page will be hidden from search engines. And that brings us to our fifth and final method, which is essentially just a manual version of the fourth method we just covered. So if you don't want to use an SEO plugin like Yoast uh, and you'd like to still tell search engines not to index your page, then what you could do is you can add some lines of code to your robots.txt file. If you have no idea what a robots.txt file is, I'm going to show you right now. So if you look up here, you notice I have my, just my regular website, martindubovic.com, and I added slash robots.txt. So let's click enter, and you'll see my robots.txt file will load in just a moment. It's right here. It is extremely simple. There's only a few lines. And what this is, is it's the standard generic robots.txt file that WordPress virtually generates for every single WordPress site. And you can see it right now if you do exactly what I just did. So just go to your website at slash robots.txt and you'll see something very similar to this. Now, because WordPress creates these automatically, very few people actually make their own manual ones. So in order to add the line of code, you do need to make a manual one. And the easiest way to do that is to use either ChatGPT or Claude or another similar tool. So if you go to ChatGPT, you can just write something like this. Please generate a robots.txt file for me for a standard WordPress site. At the bottom, please add a custom disallow rule for this page. So this last part of it, the custom disallow rule is what's going to hide your page from the search engines. All right, so this is what ChatGPT gave us. And if you look closely, it disallowed the sample page that I mentioned right here, which is the about me page that we've been working on. Then the next step would be to copy this up here. And you have to go into your file manager, which depending on who your hosting provider is, uh, will determine how you access that file manager. Most people have cPanel, which looks like this. So in cPanel, you can find it. It's literally called File Manager. You go into there, and then you have to find the actual WordPress installation. If you only have one, then it's pretty easy. But if you have multiple ones, just make sure you're looking for the correct one. And then also do a quick check just to make sure you don't already have an existing robots.txt file. And so you can use the search function for that purpose. But even if you don't have cPanel as part of your hosting, you should have some kind of a file manager. For example, this is one from uh, Infinity Free, which is a free hosting service. And all of them pretty much look similar. 
Um, the cPanel one is better than what you're seeing here. It has more functions, but they're all they're all fairly similar. So this is a WordPress installation here. There are some files. Uh, these are all standard WordPress files. Now you see there's no robots.txt file here. So what I can do is add plus new file. I'm going to name it robots.txt. Click OK. Then I'm going to command V, paste my code that I got from ChatGPT here. And now my robots.txt file is here. So now it will hide that page from search engines. If for some odd reason you don't have any kind of a file manager as part of your hosting, you can use an FTP client called FileZilla. It's free and that will allow you to connect to uh, your installation files in the same way as any kind of file manager like this. And that is the end of our tutorial today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Leave a comment down below and I'll be glad to answer any questions you have and to help you out. Other than that, please subscribe to the channel. There's more great content on the way and I will see you next time.